So you're going to be the magician, I'm the spectator. We're going to have okay. fun with this. And you guys will be entertained, hopefully. Okay. Uh, so Nate, uh, we've been in friends for... <laughs> <laughs> What's up, makers? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Nate. This is our buddy, Romeo. What's up? Uh, so today, we actually want to share with you the secret, and we're going to teach you and teach Romeo how to do uh, twin souls, which is a coincidence trick where you and your volunteer and participant uh, happen to choose the same card. What? If you saw the end of the last video uh, where we actually did this, you know, may have noticed Romeo was kind of freaked out a little bit, and so we're gonna get into it. Uh, so Romeo, you're gonna learn this, and okay. Romeo's not a magician. Not even a little. He likes magic, but he's not a magician, so this is gonna be really impressive. Uh, so it starts off with you and your participant having two different decks. Uh, you're gonna ask them all sorts of things about coincidence, it's all in your scripting. Um, <coughs> So you guys shuffle, 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 and you're gonna exchange packs. The only trick is you're going to note the bottom card of your pack. So we're gonna use the blue deck as the magician's pack, okay? Uh, and the king of spades is my known card. So after shuffling, blah, 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 as you reach over, you can take a peek at that card and drop it in front of them. And what you're gonna do is have them look through the pack for their favorite card. And meanwhile, you as the magician, you're just remembering King of Spades, 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 King of Spades. King of Spades. But then you just kind of thumb through, make it look like you're doing something, grab a random card. And you're gonna tell your spectator, once they have their card, place it face down on the table. So now you have this opposing view of blue and red. Yeah, you see, it, some people, it's gonna start clicking. Cut off half the pack and drop it on the table. Place their oh, chosen shit. card. That's okay. Place your chosen card on top of your half. So remember, you're still thinking king of spades, king of spades, king of spades, king of spades. Now, Romeo, could you show them the bottom of your pack? The king of spades is still there. Mm -hmm. And it's going to go on top of your spectator's chosen card. You are just going to show that you're just going to drop a pack. You ask them to square it up. Make sure there are no breaks, no cuts, no indication that you know where it is. Except for you do. As you know, the card that's next to the King of Spades. So from the top of the deck down, the card below the King of Spades is going to be their card. Swap decks back. And you're going to ask them to go through and pick their card from the pack. And meanwhile, here's what I'm doing. I'm looking, okay, here's the king of spades, which means the next card to the right, uh, your right, not your right, former's right, is gonna be their card. So I'm looking through, I'm like, where's my card? Where's my card? I see the king of spades and pick out the card. I place it face down in front of me and set the deck aside. And I'll ask them, okay, you ready for this? Count of three, yes, place down your pack. <clears throat> Count of three, you're gonna flip it over on the table. What a coincidence, what a coincidence this will be if our cards match. One, two, three, and lo and behold, they match. This is one of the simplest things. And now, uh, Romeo, in a very likewise fashion uh, to a good friend of mine, Brian Brushwood, do you think you could perform this right now? Uh. You can pr we can coach you through this. Probably. It's be okay, okay. So go ahead, place Maybe it. Maybe not with all the, top, the things to say. You don't have to worry about the things to say. We're just gonna, we're gonna give it an experiment. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna be the magician, I'm the spectator. We're gonna have okay. fun with this. And you guys will be entertained, hopefully. Okay. Uh, so Nate, uh, we've been in friends for <laughs> a while now. We've been getting to know each other. And you know, when you get to spend time with someone, you kind of develop like a connection with them. So we're gonna try a little trick. Okay. See? Okay, so. Go ahead and take your deck, and okay. you can go ahead and shuffle it. Okay, shuffle. Shuffle it in whatever way you want, you know, some of this, some of that. And then, you go through the deck and look for a card, right? We swap packs. Oh, so we, we swap packs. Yeah, there you go. So we're oh, look, packs. thank you, thank you, Magician, for swapping packs with me. Okay, the blue one is... Yeah, we're gonna say the blue one's the Magician's one. Okay, so, 
go ahead and look through the deck and pick a card. Probably not your favorite card, but let's say your second favorite card. Okay. Meanwhile, you're going to do the same. I'm going to do the same. I don't want to forget this card. <laughs> remember, it's this card you want to remember. Yeah, this card. Oh, shh. See? <laughs> that card. Yes, yeah, so it's okay. Oh so you want to remember the card on the pack that you gave your spectator. <laughs> okay. okay, so... Uh, Do you want to try again? Here, no, it's okay. Again? okay. It's okay. Yeah. Um, okay, we're just going to go with that. We're I'm going gonna, gonna to get it. I, I see it. Yes, yes, so, don't forget. I'm looking through these, but making sure I remember that that card. Boy, that's really weird to say around somebody that doesn't know magic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wait, is this miss? Okay, no, no. It doesn't matter. Okay, so... You got your card? Yes, I got my card. Does it, it doesn't matter what card I have, right? Correct. Okay, it doesn't matter so, which card you have. So I'm gonna we're gonna take out our card. Okay. And go ahead and put it face down. Face down, okay. Okay, go ahead and cut cut your deck. Okay. Throw that half on top. Oh no 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 no. no. Sorry, sorry. Drop it. Drop it, okay, I'm dropping. Okay, and we're gonna take your card, put it in the middle. Put it on there, okay. okay. Take what's left of your deck and drop it on top. Square it up, make sure there's no breaks. No way of knowing. <laughs> where that card is. Okay, so let's go ahead and swap. Swap decks, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead and swap. And now, let's see if there's any kind of magic. We pick the same card. Um, you know, crap, what the hell was that? <laughs> yeah, so, so I'm looking for the card on the right of it, right? Yeah, so it's like the same as from the top of the deck. Mm -hmm down so it's gonna be the card below it so when okay. you're looking through here it's gonna be to the right of it you're mm -hmm. the performer's okay. right okay all right go ahead and do you find your card okay I found my card all right go ahead and put this down okay we're gonna put the deck down all right now on the count of three we're gonna show our cards at the same time okay right? ready one two three what's up makers <laughs> <laughs> You did it! You Man, did it! You did it! Yeah, we did some magic. coaching. Uh, it does take a little bit of practice to get this Definitely. down. Just remember before you guys swap, uh, the big that's the big tip is before you swap, you mm -hmm. remember the bottom card on your pack. Um, the, whatever's the magic. The, the magician's, magician's pack. pack. You remember what's on the bottom of the magician's pack, then you swap. So would you be screwed if you had two of the same decks? Kind of thing? Like, let's say if I no, had two. No, I mean, like, if we had two blue ones, then you just. Keep do track. it, yeah. Okay. Uh, you just keep track because you just you swap the decks twice. The first time, so they they have oh, your key okay. card. Second time, so you can use your key card. Okay. Uh, I like using just two different colored backs, just because it makes it a little more creepy or a little more coincidental that within two different decks, you'd see it. Um, so thank you so much, Romeo. Hopefully yeah. you learned something, and hopefully oh, yeah, you I guys did. learned it. <laughs> Uh, through troubleshooting. This is the best part of magic is actually sharing this knowledge and getting you guys involved with it. Um, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, become a part of our community, give Romeo some love on Instagram, and keep making that magic.